turn one orcs dealing with those pinned pinky got pinned i don't even know how that happened but anyways the big squad of shooter boys running up the other squad of shooting boys with the weird boy running up and the bikes that are to terribly damaged uh, they might be able to do something we'll have to see it might take a turn or two and the trucks of course will just fly up the board as fast as possible weird boy passes his psychic test and gets a one Let's re-roll, gets a melt a shot, and of course rolls a one on penetration. And strength 10 against armor 13, well that will do nothing. Next, just running forward, just with all the boys, of course. Trying to get as far as possible, and then the other truck running right up beside the relic. And of course passing the typical terrain test, the other one rolling right up beside the fire. Turn two Tau already, I'm efficient. Uh, <laughs> The Barracuda, one Barracuda makes it, makes his way in, and everything else is just positioning to see what they can get. So, the Fire Warriors jump into the forest, so in just a moment we're going to roll to see what the mysterious forest reveals, and it's a Razorwing Nest, and since he rolled four or more, he has D6 strength three hits, which is six, but unfortunately only one Fire Warrior died, with potential for a lot more deaths there. I rolled terribly. Therefore, fire warriors just advancing with with the pre-measuring advancing. They, you can figure out exactly how much you have to run up. You don't have to move up any more than you need to. And that is exactly what another huge actually advantage for the uh, the Tau. Maybe not huge, but it's 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 a good advantage. The Barracuda starts opening fire. His little uh, marker light, network marker light, misses. But then he shoots his ion cannon and burst cannons and. I think there's something else in there as well. He causes two wounds, and I save one of them. And then I think he's firing with more stuff, but you gotta fire them all at the same time. He missed anyways. Teaches him. Next, the commander shooting at my truck, trying to do something, but I do believe, oh, I just get one hull point down because he got one penetrating hit and he got a, just a, a shake in and continue to fire, do as much damage as possible as truck because once it uh, unloads his boys, it's gonna hurt. He ramshackles, but I roll a five, and so the boys jump out and they're hugging in behind, trying to get behind line of sight as much as possible. Which is lucky for me because those fire warriors aren't able to shoot at me anymore, so they decide actually to run away, which is uh, probably the smart thing to do is now. The other squad of fire warriors, of course, unloads into my truck and makes it ramshackle, but two or three exploding results plus to get rid of all my hell points and I explode just one inch though so I just hit a couple of two boys and all the boys inside I do manage to roll a lot and I lose four boys I do believe and so now I do have to roll for pinning which I am pinned again moving on Pathfinder shooting under the hammerhead because they can and they get three marker lights and he immediately takes them off to get rid of any kind of cover I could get because I would have a four plus if I've gone the ground but now I get nothing. First hammerhead directly hits and takes out every boy except my knob and then we forgot to roll for the burst cannons but I'm such a nice guy so I let him shoot him anyways and it doesn't make a huge difference in the end. And the only causes well, a couple wounds he managed to survive with one wound somehow i can't remember how but that's the way it is but then he shoots the other one and directly on top of the knob to make sure he dies and he does die killing two other boys from the other squad and the knob next piddly shots at the the other squad of boys and surprisingly only manages it didn't take out any with the fire warriors and then ion cannon and burst cannons from the other hammerhead Managed to wound a couple more, and with the cover saves, two more die. And then he doesn't like the Razor Wing Nest, and so instead of shooting with this squad, he actually decides to run five inches out and spread, because he realized that I had a combi scorcha. And the mysterious pond is Industrial Ooze, so if I go to ground in it, or if he goes to ground in it, he has to take initiative test or take a wound, which will kill most of his guys. So he just doesn't have to go to ground at all. Turn two orcs. Two of my DACA jets come in. One is held in reserve still. And they're pretty excited to uh, let loose uh, their DACA fury. And so since he spread out those guys that way, he actually opened up my brain to realize that it was a better place to go with my combi scorch, which you'll see in a second. Next, my weird boy and his boys move up. They got to get closer and closer. And otherwise, they really aren't going to be able to do anything. 
and continue just to run forward trying to hug terrain as much as possible but again with those marker lights and everything it's really hard to stay alive as orcs so weird boy actually gets he rolled a one or re-rolled and i got a <laughs> Actually, I didn't get a wog, I got a deep strike, but I decided to call one anyways. So, Kami Scorcha, I take out all the Pathfinder but one, and I take out four Fire Warriors. Pretty good for five points, I'd say. Too bad he killed the rest of my Kami Scorcha, otherwise, it wouldn't have taken a chance. Anywho, the remaining uh, Pain Boy on the, the bike takes out and is able to, to remove the Pathfinder from the table, no longer there, and the first Daku Jet shoots and wipes out that fire warrior squad so the right side of the board is mostly empty even though I, my only squad over there deep struck to the other side of the board either daka jet or no the shooter boy is inside shooting and managed to take out a couple of fire warriors which is uh, good news and the other daka jet shoots into those green fire warriors that are running out of the terrain and now fast forwarding a wound allocation here the ones in the crater got covered the ones outside don't and he made a bunch of cover saves or he made three cover saves because I rolled exactly enough wounds to kill them all. So they are still alive. Of course, they will need to take some leadership, which they do fail. And failing the morale test, they fall back four inches right beside the little orkies. Now I can either... And then from shooting with the other boys as well, the other guys do pass their leadership. So I'm assaulting his commander and he overwatches and they manage to get one and kills one. And then I only charge three inches, but I have to charge through difficult terrain. So every it's model by model now, not the whole unit. And so I didn't actually fail any of my uh, dangerous terrain tests, which is awesome. And he ch tries to challenge me, but then I kill him outright. And I get to consolidate five inches. Might as well go forward, do what I can. Many war gamers, my wrist is cheating again. I want this to be part of the video, Dan. I don't know why he wanted to see that part of the video, but you know, Owen is Owen. Next, the assault is against the devil fish, which I do manage to barely get because of the walk trying to get the reroll. And with the power claw, I am able to absolutely destroy. Although he killed a couple boys with flechette dischargers and managed to kill two more with the explosion. So it was, uh, I don't know if it was worth it. But anyways, part three coming up. Who's gonna win? <laughs>